Jonathan Vastein to lead things off here on an overcast but warm evening in Lexington. And we are underway with a fly ball to straightaway center. McCarthy all the way back, and that's a home run. First pitch swinging. Vastein hits his ninth home run, and the Vandy boys are on the board early. Wow. First pitch, he sees. Boy, he gets it and goes straight. We don't see a lot of home runs to that part of the ball field, but wasn't much doubt after he hit that one. Well, just one of those get ahead fastballs right down the middle. Certainly you don't expect it. A lot of leadoff hitters will get up there, but he got ambushed and he hit it a long way. In the lineup with the exception of Lopez, who leads the team and there's why. Walt Schmidt with a rope into the alley, he'll make the turn. He'll stop at second base with his 15th double of the year, and Kentucky has the tying run at second base. There's a four-pitch walk. Not a bad one. That's a dandy. Hey, beat it out. Another one-two. Center field, Calvin Hewitt. Walt Schmidt tagging. That'll tie the game. Throw to third. And hustling over is Petrie. And the game is tied at one. Cats have him on the corners now with one out. Got it down. Foot race. Another infield single for the Wildcats. Miscommunication, it looked like Doug for the Commodores. So it's a 2-1 Kentucky lead. Tim Corbin out of the dugout, perhaps, asking for a review. Must have been off the bag. Yep. And it hit him. Load him up again. Anything at any time. An RBI from McCoy and a 3-1 Kentucky lead. Hip labor. Braden Holcomb on the move and right. And that'll do it. That's what's kept him in the lineup. That is career hit number 200. Mitchell Daly dating back to his Longhorn days. Off the end of the bat, double play opportunity for Vandy, and they can't make the play. He just needs to be protected. Fastball, that's a good pitch. Crushed left field, but it yeah. stays in the park. Sends Polk deep, so that gets a run home. And Grant Smith makes it a four to one game. He barreled that up, but right at the Commodore defender. Did he? High and deep. Go back, look up. It's gone. A moonshot to the new bleachers for Ryan Walshmith. The Wildcats lead at 7-1. Spider-Man moment at the plate. And the Big Blue Nation celebrates. He's got to be one of the most dangerous hitters in baseball right now. Looks like he tries to get a fastball by him down. Not Man, down enough. He stays right. Watch his head. Watch him just go right down on this pitch. Wow. That's a Harmon killer power swing right there. His dad comes to every game still. Yep. Fair ball. Ripped by Lopez down the line. What a bounce. He'll take a look, but he'll remain at second base. We have seen that kind of pinball action lead to a triple. Now Mitchell Daly. Another bunt. It's a good one. Enough to move the runner. And he draws a walk. Off speed. Deep to center. That should get a run home. Hewitt. Nicholson bluffs, but he'll stay in first. And the Wildcats lead it eight to one. I gotta think around the league, eyebrows have been raised with his score as James McCoy swings. At the first pitch he sees. Boy, he just missed just that a one. Deeper center field, didn't he, though? Mm. And that'll do it. Little League. <laughs> but, uh, oh, there's a rope by Polk over the head of Walshman. 
That'll go for an extra base hit the first of the evening for the Commodore. So we'll apply this to Polk as well or text to anybody. That is hit high to right. That's way out. That is here. way gone. Ozil with his fifth home run. And what did I say? It ain't over yet. Oh, no. Now it's eight to three. After back to back extra base hits surrendered by Pooser. This ball is destroyed. Look at that young freshman. Well, he's put together, too. Look how stout he is, man. Number five with 28 runs batted in now. No doubter. And oh that my. was right down the pipe. Yep. A couple of heartbreakers. Three consecutive base hits for the Commodores. Late inning short relief guy. Oh, no. Boy, Calvin Hewitt finds his way on the hard way. That's the second man Poozer has hit. That's hit high and deep. That's well McCarthy deep. back. Warning track. Wow. Holcomb tagging, so now they're at the corners with one out. It's an 8-3 ball game. Runner goes. First steal of the evening for Calvin Hewitt now at second base. That'll send a run home. Grant Smith makes the play to first, and it's an 8-4 game. And R.J. Austin finds his way on. He was the Friday starter. Runner goes. And Austin was steal number 24. Pulled the string. Hooser freezes Espinal. One, two. Man, when Into you're the hot. bat and over the second baseman for his third base hit of the night. Runner goes. Espinal has to dodge the hitter on a tough pitch. Challenge with a fastball, and Burks gives it a ride. They can't get it. That's going to go as a double for Devin Burks. What an effort by Hewitt. Holcomb chased it down, but he hit it where they ain't. Fading. What a grab by Matthew Polk. Covered some ground. Give it or take it. That's what he like. does. Runner goes. And the steal for Hewitt. Maybe this will be one of them. Petrie, what a stop. Stopped by Daly. On to Petrie. Nicholson, that's a double play. 5-4-3. Run scores for Vanderbilt. And Lopez, prior to that, a leadoff double in the fourth. There's a long fly ball. Deep right field. Holcomb back, and it's gone. That is the second time that he has got a pitch where it looked like he was out in front a little bit and absolutely destroyed it. Nick Lopez is having himself some fun in Lexington, Kentucky. Wildcats top hitter for average. Wow. Just hit his sixth home run. Just great extension. Okay, gets out on that ball. Out, and I mean, gets out of here while plenty. He's got those quick hands. One, two. Blew it right by him, 91. How about that pitch with some run? One, two. Wow. Get up. Grant Smith climbs the ladder. That'll do it. Kentucky 10, Vanderbilt 5.